Assuming this is a fresh start with Evolution System, the first thing you have to do is to configure the devices that are connected to the interface and assign the access in the software. Evolution interface has six different channels, allowing you to control six axes independently. I have the slider on the first channel, then I have the pan and tilt on channel number two and three, and then I have zoom and focus on channel number four and five. What I do is I go to settings, I select axis one, I click show axis, I choose the type of the device, in this case let's set it up for modulo, which is the device you should be using for Modulo and for Tarantula Go. We're gonna repeat the process for all additional devices, so let me do it. Axis 2 is gonna be pan of the Omni head. Axis 3 is gonna be the tilt of the Omni head. Axis 4 is zoom and axis 5 is focus. Of course the arrangement of channels is up to you and you can use any configuration that is convenient for you or for particular shooting situation. Let me exit the settings and now you see that all axes that we have configured are visible here just below the timeline. The next step is calibrating the device. By calibration you actually define the physical movement range for each of axes. Let me start with calibrating the dolly. I hit calibration in point, I move the slider to jog the device to the beginning of the track, then I hit calibration out point and I repeat the same thing for the end point. As soon as the slider is calibrated, I'll repeat the process for all other axes. Let me start with pan, I hit calibration in point, I move the device to the end point and actually for, for pan it's the only limitation is your cable that may give you a little bit of headache if you don't manage it properly, but the Omni head can do 360 or more degrees. Then I hit calibration out point and I define the end of the movement. The next axis is tilt. I hit calibration in point and I gently move the tilt axis downwards. I do it carefully because I have two lens drives rigged over here and that's limiting my physical movement. Then I hit calibration out point and I travel all the way up. Let me get back to neutral position. And now let's start working with zoom and focus. Again, I engage zoom axis, hit calibration in point, travel to the beginning of my movement range on my lens ring, calibration out point, repeat carefully for the out point, Done. The limits are assigned. And the last thing is focus. So again, calibration in point, and I go all the way to the beginning. With this type of lens, it doesn't matter if you cross the in point, um, because there is no physical hard stop on the lens itself, and you want to be 100% sure that you are on the very beginning of the movement range. And now calibration out point, and I go carefully all the way to the end limit. Now, this is where you actually want to be precise, because if you define the range that exceeds the physical movement range of, of the lens element, um, you're going to lose all the precision on direction changes. And it's done. The entire procedure for a 5-axis system takes no longer than 2 minutes and you're ready to work.